God of War, Ghost of Sparta, God Mode difficulty. This is the Mounts of Laconia or Lasonia. I can never, um, I, I never understand if it's a hard hard C or a soft C. But uh, regardless, um, we're getting further into our campaign, so we're probably more than halfway through the game by now. I would imagine. Um, so over here, um, we get a Gorgonai. Um, we're still working on getting another magic and uh, item upgrade pretty soon. Um, it may be this video or the next video. Um, I like uh, I like the colors here. Um, got some rabbit hounds to deal with, and these guys are really aggressive. Um, I like fighting these guys um, simply because they're not as like so easy as the the crawlers that are all over the game. Um, these guys are. Uh, they're a little bit more cheap, but they're not, again, not so easy. Um, and that move that I did right there actually is, um, uh, so it's, uh, you move the right analog stick and then, um, uh, you hold down the square button or you hold down the triangle button. Holding the square button down, um, during a roll does that move that I did right there, co co conveniently enough, it just happened as I was going to say that. And then the, the uppercut move is done by holding um, the triangle button as you're doing your roll. Um, there's only four levels of the blades in this title. Um, normally in God of War, the blades of uh, any, whatever blades you have, what be they the blades of uh, Chaos or the blades of Athena or whatever they are. In this game, they're the blades of Athena, since this is God of War 2. Um, normally there there are five stages of blades, but in this game, and I think in the the, the chance of Olympus too, it's just four stages, which is fine. Um, you know, the, this is just like a it's a bite-sized God of War, um, to coin a phrase I heard on the review for this somewhere I heard that on a review for this game, um, and we are going to be I think it's going to be maybe the next level yeah the next level we're gonna be getting the arms of Sparta and I'm gonna be upgrading those it's very important to upgrade those um, I don't use them for combat but I do use them to um, to, to ease some of the strain of the wraith battles a, li a bit a little later on in the game um, so let me see also okay so I'll just go through the upgrades in case anyone's wondering what I've done so far I've upgraded the blades of, of Athena to level three then I have um, one upgrade left to get up to, to level four and I have upgraded the the eye of Atlantis one time to level two so we have one upgrade left for that magic um, I wasn't gonna actually do that upgrade um, but after the earnest battle um, with the footage I lost um, it was it enabled me to get, to get a bunch of combos because the more you upgrade the Eye of Atlantis, the more electricity arcs you can create, and that um, obviously it actually stuns more enemies too. Um, so what else have I upgraded? I have upgraded the uh, Flame of Thera. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I have upgraded that one time, so I have another upgrade left to do for that. And um, in the next video, you're going to see me right when I get the arms of Sparta. I'm going to upgrade that one time. So um, that's the, that's what I've been doing. Um, if you, um, I don't know. It, it just depends. However, you like to play it, play this game. Um, I don't depend on strong blades. Like that's why I've been kind of like um, I haven't been focusing. I mean, the blades are at level three. But I could have got them up to level four by now. I imagine if I had not um, done other upgrades. Um, but uh, that's just I don't I I don't want to sound arrogant, but it's not gonna come out as any other way. But I don't need strong blades to win the game. Um, I like having um, other options available. I, I like having this supplement for the blades, um, this fire magic, and I also like investing in the arms of Sparta and. Um, I also, you know, like the the Eye of Atlantis. The things I'm not going to be upgrading um, ever are going to be the Scourge of Ern Errands that I got, um, simply because I just don't care for that magic. It, it, it's like the uh, the Charon's Wrath magic in Chains of Olympus. I, I just don't find any use for it. It's not fun to use. And um, uh, also the the Boreas magic. Uh, I'm not going to be upgrading that. It's also not possible to upgrade everything uh, on these harder settings. You probably could get by upgrading everything, maybe on normal. Um, probably on normal. I've never, I never played any of these games on normal mode. Um, I've always played them on either hard 
or actually that's all that's all I've played them on hard and then the very hard. Um, apologize for speaking over that battle, but I did want to go over some things. And then um, the Temple of uh, Ares is going to be next. So um, that's um, that's it for this video. I'm out, and I hope this video helped you uh, succeed in your goals. Um, oh wait, we have a bit left here. My mistake. Yeah, this is okay. This is one of the longer videos. I forgot. Um, there is a treasure box over to the right, and um, if I'm not mistaken, it's the last um, feather we need to get a magic upgrade. Um, okay, so so to beat this game, you know, if you need strong blades, then by all means upgrade the blades. Um, I would not. This what I do when I upgrade things is that. I don't make an upgrade until I have enough money, and this is a, like a classic mistake you can you can make if you're not familiar with this game. Um, pouring just this this pouring spare orbs into items, um, and then later you, later on you know saving saving the data and then coming back and realizing hey I shouldn't have poured those orbs into this item. Um, I actually never even addressed this issue ever, but um, you you don't want to pour spare orbs into items until you're completely committed to making a purchase so um, you know when you have enough say say I get up to like the amount I need to upgrade um, the blades up to level four or, or anything whatever it is um, just make sure that uh, you want to commit to the purchase and whatever orbs say you have like four thousand orbs left after you um, do your upgrade don't just uh, pour like 4,000 orbs into an item that say like you may not be using later on in the game say it costs like 10,000 you're just wasting orbs so yeah don't fall into that trap I fell into that trap when I first played this game it's not really a trap it's just um, you, there's you can't undo what you've done that's the problem unless you've created a separate save file um, I, I'm only I only have one save file going on be, just because I'm just I know exactly what I'm doing here uh, I know what not to do um, but just because I don't do something don't make the mistake that you know you shouldn't do it if, if you like the scourge of er, er, errands but it, you know and you are skilled with that by all means upgrade that you know show me up because I don't even know how to use that magic very well um, I'm just kind of a an old-fashioned guy just like the eye of Atlantis <laughs> how's that for a quote 